All right, good afternoon, wherever you are. I'm Hot Rod Bob. I'm along with Jeff Stillwell from Great Britain. He's come all the way here to the Grand National Roadster Show to talk about, well, anything Bonneville style. Bonneville. Uh, you've got, yeah, land speed racing. You've got your car over uh, in one of the buildings. We have, we're in Hall 6. Hall 6. Yeah, on the Mick Paints uh, booth. Okay. And uh, we have that, and we have the 1932 Packard uh, um, the Mulholland. Yeah, the Mulholland Roadster. Right. And we've got the, the Indy car as well. And, right. Uh, yeah, it's good. Been very busy there this, today. All right, tell us a little bit about your uh, your land speed record experience and and, uh, mm. and fun stuff that's been going on. Well, the fun stuff is we we built we set the record with the sister car, right. and uh, we kicked the rods out and had a fire in 2018, and we were looking to. Uh, you know, upgrade the car and we ended up having to build a new car and then we got to Bonneville in 2019 when it was all wet and slushy all right. and uh, we were ready to go down and make a pass even though it was wet and we had a, a selector in the B&J transmission jam okay. and we couldn't run Oh, so we put it in the trailer and came home um, and then we've been stuck in London because of Covid and they eventually uh, lifted the, the COVID restrictions in uh, November, mm -hmm. so we jumped on a plane and we, we ran the car at El Mirage um, and we went 193 in the mile, Wow! just, um, just on tick over, um, just to get some seat time with it really. Yeah, 193, now, from what I understand, because it's such a short distance on El Mirage and because the, the surface is dirt. Yeah, mud. The, the, yeah, the, it's a much slower course um i don't know it's certainly muddy i mean I, yeah when i got home i was coughing mud up for a fortnight <laughs> um, i do not kid you it was awful yeah. um but it was exceptional conditions in november because there was no wind there was no right. nothing there had not been any rain so it hadn't dampened anything down it was just a dust bowl right. and because there was no wind the the, the dust was hanging in the air all the time right and and it was it was terrible terrible conditions um, but we you know we we made a couple of good passes on it just literally just to get down the track and see what it was going to do and it behaved itself and we came away actually really excited and pleased with it well it gave you a lot of parameters that you or a lot of information you hadn't been able to get oh yeah you hadn't been able to drive the car no no, no. I mean it was the first time I'd driven the car and uh, we we didn't know what it was, you know, we were confident it was going to be okay, but yeah. um, we got down the track and uh, it was a pleasure to drive, Good. a real pleasure. And it was so easy. And I just did what they told me to do and they didn't want me to over rev it or do anything. So they said, look, hit, hit the shifter at 3000 RPM and I hit it at 29 something or other and it shifted into high gear and away she went right. and I had to pedal because she was, she was flying. flying. We could have easily set fastest time of day. Ah. Easy. Well, now, they were making you relicense though because they were, yeah. uh, Bonneville yeah. license isn't good at El Mirage. <laughs> I got a double A license with Bonneville but I couldn't use that at El Mirage so I had to relicense at El Mirage. So, um, but we're good to go play now. Good. You know, we can, we can now start you can now start putting the pedal yeah, in the middle yeah. there. What we're going to do is, um, well, it's, it's already done actually, but yeah. we've changed the blower spec. We were only running three pounds of boost. Really? In that. Wow. 175 miles or whatever, three pounds of boost. Yep. The car is about, what, 6,000 pounds? About 5,000 pounds of weight. 5,000 pounds. Okay. Yeah, on the button. But you put a wing on it to we keep did. it down. Yeah. Because uh, John Beck, I believe it was, was one of the people who told you, add weight. Yeah, I mean, the thing was, was that we were, we wanted, the reason we put the wing on was not necessarily to add the downforce, but to keep it going straight. Okay. And because the way the wing is designed, um, we were actually running negative wing. Oh. Um, okay. And just to see what it was doing and so we could get some readouts on the information on the sensors on right. the car so we know we can put in perhaps two degrees three degrees and that's all we're going to need downforce on it on where okay, we where we are so far okay yeah you know, maybe that will change at Bonneville when we get 
because when you start running 300 the car behaves differently right and so we don't know so we've got to sneak up on it so you're going to come back in may we're in back in may yep. and you're going to run el mirage yep what is the record that you'll be going up against for your class there? well um i don't know um one of the guys was going to check um i don't even know if there is a record okay um but uh the the target is to get the dirty two club right <laughs> uh, which means i've got to run 250. okay and you've already run 175. oh yeah well actually easy. i was 193. 193 we, off the back pedaled through the lights it was 174.9 okay. because you were licensed yeah yes okay all right so the record you're looking to set the record there bonneville the goal 300 plus 300 plus and if you can do that and we did the research you'll be the fifth brit wow to go over 300 miles an hour Whew. so that's a, a, a good decision a feather. there you go and you know yeah. other than malcolm campbell you might yeah. be uh depending on how fast you go andy green you, yeah you could be uh one of the uh, top yeah i mean you're already you're already being the top five <laughs> but you might be higher up there in well, you know, the top two or three the the, the aim the aim is is to get that record yeah. up to get 300. Blue yeah, to, to blue hat. The it's blue, hat. blue for 300. Blue, for three, okay. It's to get the blue hat um, because it's such an exclusive club. Right. And I forget how many there are, but you're only talking to, um, I think there's 25 people, maybe 30 wow. in it. I don't think it's that many. I mean, I know more people have walked on the moon than done 400. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's going to be fun to see. I'm going to yep. be there. That's yep. the plan at this point. Yep. Uh, we're going to be going up there. You're going to be going up there. Yeah. We're going to. You're going to do the test runs in May. Yes. And you'll be pushing it a little bit further. We're going there. to. Yeah. But what we've done is when we got back, we looked at all the data on it, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> what we because we we had to back the car right down absolute minimum we could get away with. Right. And so now what we're going to do is um, we're going to start spinning the blower uh, okay. a little bit harder, All right. increase the boost, and then that should push us through the 250 mark. Easily. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, if you were able to do what you were doing, yeah. down to it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, let's just hope the weather holds up. Do you know what? It could do with some rain. It could, and uh, the weather reports are predicting rain in February. Yeah. So we need we need some rain up there to um, but what's happened is they've uh, on the side of El Mirage off the bowl right. they've stuck a load of plants in and they it's stopping the rain oh, from, from running, running down, down into. There. Okay. And they're trying to you know, it's it, it save the world. Save yeah. Um, and but they're just trying to I don't understand the ecos of it. I'm sure there's a rule, you know, there's some uh, reason why there's they've done that. There. Yeah, yeah, some logic. But unfortunately, what it's doing is there is no water getting into the basin. So it's getting really dusty it's and getting, stuff. Yeah, very dry, very dry. So we need some good rain to come, not just in the mountains, we need the rain to actually come onto the track. Right. So that it can collect the dust and clay and you know get right. it back together get underneath the dust yeah you don't want to be driving on the wet but you want the yeah we, we want the under layer to yeah. stay that way yeah yeah all right good yeah we need it nice and hard all right so you've got your bonneville car here yes and you brought another car here <laughs> yes i got my 34 roadster 34 it's a boydster yeah. yes no no it's not a boydster, it's not a boydster. Uh, no it's um for the life of me, I can't remember who built it originally. Okay. Uh, well, I know who built it originally, but I don't know who the body is okay. on it, who did the body. But uh, mixed paint, um, we bought it as an unfinished project. Okay. And uh, I took it to Mick, mixed paint, and said, it needs finishing, Mick, please. Do it, yep. Um, and because the chassis hadn't been powder coated, oh. uh, you know, it had been put together as a runner. But sadly, uh, in fact, it was Frank Silver's dad who built right. it, and Frank's dad died, and it never got properly finished. Okay. So I did a deal with Frank, bought the car, and now we've finished it. We've done a lovely trim, and uh, you know, and then we got Brad King to do the flames and and, and everything on it. Yeah, it does, and it's got a it's got a LS one three fifty out the crate in it. Um, 
I was smoking some rubber earlier. So. <laughs> well, then it's a hybrid. It burns rubber and gas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we left a few stripes. Yeah, did you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, don't tell anyone. The youth comes out. I yep. understand. Yeah. All right. So you're Forever here. 19. What building is your car in? We're in Hall Six. Okay. Uh, on the mix paint booth, okay. and you can't miss us because we're the longest car there. <laughs> yes. In red. And red with big seven seven oh seven down the side. There you go. Yeah. All right, Jeff Stillwell from Great Britain. Thanks. Hi everybody. Land speed record champion, current record holder at two hundred and fifty eight. Fifty eight miles an hour. But that is going to fall at Bonneville this year. I'm Hot Rod Bob along with Jeff Stillwell. You got gas, the great American auto scene, brought to you by BUA Motorsports here at Pomona, the Grand National Roadster Show. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be talking to you guys later. Take care.